Hey guys, we are starting our next unit over volume and surface area, but before we start looking at volume and surface area, we are going to review a few things about 3D figures, and today we're going to review area and perimeter, because area and perimeter play a huge part in finding the volume and surface area of 3D figures. So we're going to answer the question, how do I find the area and perimeter of triangles, rectangles, and circles? Hopefully this is a review for you guys. So all of the area formulas are right here. Remember, area is the amount of space that a shape covers, and it is two-dimensional. So whenever we find the area of something, we leave our answer in units squared because we multiply two things to get area. To find the area of a rectangle, you just do the length times the width. Um, and this would be the length and width. So you just multiply those together. Um, remember the two sides that you are multiplying together form a right angle. Okay, triangles, the formula is really similar, but a triangle is half of a rectangle, so the formula is one half base times height. And it's important to remember that the base and the height form a right angle. So in this picture here, this would be the base and the height would form a right angle with the base. Okay, and then circles, the area for a circle is pi r squared, where r is the radius. And remember, the radius is just halfway across a circle. Okay, so that is area, the amount of space that a shape covers. Now let's talk about perimeter. This is the distance around a shape. So there's two ways to find the perimeter of a rectangle. You can do twice the length plus twice the width, or you can just add all the four sides together. And then triangle, there's three sides, so we just add all the three sides together. And then circumference is a fancy name for the perimeter of a circle. Perimeters are special shapes, so we have special words for them, circumference being one of them. And you can either do pi times the diameter or 2 pi r. You will see me using 2 pi r today because that is the formula that shows up in our volume and surface area formulas, which is what we're leading to. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice that. So here's our first shape. It is a rectangle and I want to find the area and the perimeter of it. So let's start with the area. Remember, area is length times width. So I'm just going to do 10.5 times 4. 10.5 times 4. And 10.5 times 4 is 42. And it'll be feet squared since area is in units squared. Okay, then perimeter is around a shape. And remember we talked about there's two ways that you can find the perimeter of a rectangle. You can add the four sides or do two times the length plus two times the width. I'm just going to add the four sides together. So it'll be four plus 10.5 plus four plus 10.5. So four plus 10.5 plus four plus 10.5 is 29 and perimeter is just a one dimensional so it will just be 29 feet instead of feet squared all right number two got another rectangle so for the area we will do the same thing length times the width so I will do 2.2 times 8 so 2.2 times 8 is 17.6 and this is area so it's going to be centimeters squared okay then the perimeter same thing i'm just going to add the four sides together so it will be 8 plus 2.2 plus 8 plus 2.2 8 plus 2.2 plus 8 plus 2.2 is 20.4 centimeters Okay, now on to triangles. Remember, triangles, the area for a triangle is one half base times height, and the base and the height form a right angle, and then for perimeter, we just add all the three sides together. 
So let's start with the area. The area is one half base times the height. And here is the right angle. So I know that six and 17 are the base and the height of this triangle. Even though it doesn't really look like it with the way that the triangle is flipped, since they form the right angle, that's what I use for B and H in my area of a triangle formula. So I'll do one half times six times 17 to find the area of the triangle. One half times six times 17 is 51 centimeters squared. Okay, and then the last thing I need to find is the perimeter of the triangle, which is just the three sides around the triangle. So I'm gonna add 17 plus six plus 18.2. So 17 plus six plus 18.02 will tell me the perimeter of the triangle. And it is 41.02 centimeters. Okay, we got another triangle. This time I have four numbers. So I just need to be careful about what I'm using for each formula. So let's start with the area. Remember area is one half base times height and the base and the height form the right angle. So that means that I'm gonna use four for the height and 12 for the base. So my area will be whatever one half times 12 times four is. And one half times 12 times four is 24 inches squared. Okay, perimeter, sometimes students will be tempted to just add all of the numbers together that they see, but you can't do that. You need to think about it a little bit more. Remember, perimeter is around a figure. So I'm just going to add the three sides on the outside, which is five, 10, and 12. So the perimeter of the triangle will be whatever five plus 10 plus 12 is. And five plus 10 plus 12 is 27 inches. Okay, now we are on to our circles. Remember circles, the area of it is pi r squared and then the circumference, aka perimeter. I'm gonna use the formula two pi r because that's what we will see in our volume and surface area formulas. So let's start by finding the area of this circle, which is pi r squared. If you notice, they gave me the diameter. So I'm going to have to divide that by two to find the radius, since the radius is in my formulas. And 30 divided by two is 15. So to find the area, I will do 3.14 times 15 squared. And 3.14 times 15 squared is 706.5 feet squared. Okay, so there's the area of the circle. Now let's find the circumference. Remember formula for circumference is two pi r. So I'm gonna do two times 3.14 times 15 to find the circumference. Two times 3.14 times 15 is 94.2 feet. Okay, and last one, I'm gonna use the same formulas I used last time. Area is pi r squared, and this time they did actually give me the radius. It is 12.2, so I don't have to do anything with that. So to find the area, I will do 3.14 times 12.2 squared. So 3.14 times 12.2 squared is 467.36. So we're gonna round to the nearest hundredths. 467.36 centimeters squared since its area. And then the circumference is two pi r, 
So it'll be 2 times 3.14 times 12.2. And 2 times 3.14 times 12.2 is 76.62 centimeters. Okay, there is your review of area and perimeter.